a 19-year-old female presents for persistent headache for the past four months. The visit to the clinic today was prompted because she recently noticed she was having trouble with tasks like driving, where she recently describes veering towards one side of the road and even hitting a lamp on several occasions. On review systems, she tells you that she has also missed her menstrual period for the past seven months, even though she previously had regular menstrual cycles before that. On physical exam, she is a fully developed female without signs of hirsutism. Her neurologic exam reveals bilateral visual field defects, described by the patient as having blurriness and dimming in her peripheral vision. An MRI of her brain is ordered and is seen here. Laboratory tests are also ordered, but are still pending. Which of the following laboratory findings are you most likely to find in this patient? The correct answer is an elevated prolactin level. This patient has a pituitary adenoma seen here on MRI. Her preceding signs and symptoms also suggest an intracranial tumor like her complaint of headaches and a neurologic exam consistent with a bitemporal hemianopsia. Her visual field disturbance is caused by a supracellular extension of the adenoma that compresses the optic chiasm, seen here on her MRI. Anatomically, the nerves from the visual cortex course through the optic tracts, and eventually a portion of these neurons split and cross at the optic chiasm. The neurons that cross through the optic chiasm eventually make their way to become sensory neurons for the retina specifically being responsible for vision in the temporal fields, and so a lesion specifically at the optic chiasm limits or eliminates vision in a person's peripheral vision. Pituitary adenomas can also cause overproduction or underproduction of hormones, and they may even directly secrete their own hormones. In this particular case, we know that the patient likely has a pituitary adenoma based on the findings of a large pituitary mass on an MRI. But determining the specific type of adenoma depends on whether or not you knew that of all the different types of pituitary adenomas, prolactinomas are the most common. These tumors secrete prolactin at levels that inhibit GnRH release from the hypothalamus. GnRH normally regulates FSH and LH secretion by pituitary gonadotropes, but because of this inhibition there is a decrease in FSH and LH. These hormones control the ovarian cycle, and so a deficiency in these hormones results in amenorrhea and infertility, which was one of the signs that our patient endorsed when she reported missing her menstrual period for the past seven months. So in general, pituitary adenomas usually presents with neurologic complaints such as headache and visual disturbances, hormonal imbalance secondary to the overproduction or underproduction of hormones, with prolactinomas being the most common type. Elevated levels of androgens in a female result in virilization, which presents as excessive male pattern hair growth in a woman, also known as hirsutism, plus other masculinizing signs. Some potential causes for this to happen include an adrenal tumor, an ovarian tumor, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, and polycystic ovarian syndrome. Low levels of estrogens would lead to the inhibited development of a patient's female features. In this case, our patient was stated to have fully developed female features, so this cannot be the correct answer. Elevated levels of estrogens would produce feminization in a male. It could lead to oligomenorrhea in a female, because the normal menstrual cycle relies on a variation of hormone levels over the cycle, but prolactin is by far the most common hormone secreted by a pituitary adenoma, making an elevated prolactin level more likely and therefore a better answer in this case. A low prolactin level is not known to cause any apparent symptoms, unless a woman is trying to breastfeed, of course. That's because prolactin is a hormone that plays a role in milk production. Levels of prolactin are also usually very low in men, and only significantly elevated in women during pregnancy and lactation. If you like this case and enjoy medical cases like this one, check out Clinic, which is our new subscription-based web application, where each week, we present you with new clinical encounters and multiple choice questions based on a variety of medical pathology, from common disorders to the rarest diseases. Each week, your digital clinic is loaded with brand new cases, which are carefully crafted by our team members, exposing you to medical pathology you otherwise might not have had a chance to see or learn about at school or in your clinical practice. Subscribing to the Clinic app is also a great way to support this channel, allowing us to keep creating great medical educational videos, interactive software, and more medical cases like this one, for free on YouTube or at an affordable price on our website. But if you don't feel strongly about supporting us this way, that's okay. 
We still would like to show our appreciation to everyone who has continued to show their support for this channel over the years. And as a token of our appreciation, we've created a free collection of medical cases that you can access on our website. Just sign up for a free med school account by visiting the link in the description below. After you've successfully registered, you'll be redirected to the free collection landing page where you could add the collection to your account. And from here, you could immediately start testing your medical knowledge with the various clinical encounters found in this collection. You'll also have unlimited access to this collection, so you can repeat and attempt these cases as many times as you would like, forever.